great to follow on Pimp My Village because now I'm going to pimp your love life. <laughs> I'm from Love Matters and Love Matters is a web and a mobile site for 15 to 30 year olds in South Asia, Africa and also in Latin America. We offer A to Z everything you need to know about safe and satisfying sex. We've got our own agony aunt there, Auntie G, you can ask her anything. We've got bloggers, uh, we've got all local content, we've got uh, sexy love tips for you. Now doesn't it look like a, a safe, hip, kind of friendly, sex friendly site? Well, Love Matters is not what it looks like. Love Matters is a podium for free speech. And that might sound a little weird because of the tone and look of the site and because of the content, but I've worked for 15 years on grave human rights violations and I have seen clearly that most of the human rights abuses have to do with a lack of information on sexual health. Now the UN has also stated that uh, people have a right to safe and satisfying sex. And if you look, it's just uh, what we heard earlier from Melinda, that basically if you listen to what NGOs are saying about sexual health, you think that sex is just for reproduction. And I'm looking around the audience now and I'm thinking that all of you understand that sex is very popular for other reasons. Um, <laughs> mainly because there's a lot of pleasure involved. So we speak to people about Pleasure, and if you talk with them about pleasure, you can tell them a lot about safe sex. You can get a better message across. So we started our project in India, and we did that for several reasons. Um, in more than half of the states in India, it's forbidden uh, to offer sex education in schools. Also, 47% of women getting married in India today are children. They're under 18, and they've probably never had sex education. Also, another important factor is that uh, there's a crucial number of mobile phones out there that connect to the internet, so we can get our information to them. And, you know, it's no surprise that even though this subject is so taboo, the most Googled query in India today is how to kiss, because kissing is still forbidden in public. 37 million people want to know how to do that every month. Another reason why we went to India is because the NGOs we work with there really wanted us to come and we didn't want to compete with them. We didn't want to reinvent any wheels. So what we do is we get information out and they said to us, if we put that information on our site, we will be shut down tomorrow. So we get that information out to their audience and what we do is we channel that audience back towards their services so that people go to their clinics. We've got Google Maps on our page. And we work closely with one particular group called Tarshi, who translated our English site into Hindi. It's the first Hindi site about sexual health that exists. They had to find words to talk about safe sex. There was no way to describe to people what female masturbation is. So they found the words, and that is the goal of Love Matters, to find the words so that people can talk about this subject, but to give them a safe and anonymous space to talk about it. And boy, do they talk. We have a Facebook page which is just crazy now. It's just exploding. It's great. Um, and the English site launched last June. The Hindi site launched in March. And to date, we have about 150,000 people a month on the site. And that's uh, growing every day. So it's, it's doing really well. But one of the things we've noticed is that uh, contrary to what Melinda said, most organizations are talking just to women. We are talking mainly to men, or men are talking mainly to us. 75% of our audience are men. And we're delighted about this because men in India make the decisions at home about, um, oh, is that one minute left? Okay. <laughs> men, <laughs> about, uh, about everything to do with family planning. So we're happy to talk to them. We have a question. Every day they come to us with one question, how do I get a girl? That's our question as well. We've got different motives for getting girls, but uh, we want to know how to get more of them on the site. So that's one question I'm throwing out to you. Another issue is that uh, our funder is Radio Netherlands Worldwide. They've just changed their target uh, audiences. So that South Asia has fallen on the map. We're going to continue in the Middle East. We're going to continue in Africa, Latin America. But our project has to become self-funding, fully funding. So we have this crazy situation where we've got a site where we expect in six months we'll have about half a million people on there every month. We're embedded in a community that's very active. We have NGOs that are dependent on us now to do online and offline activities like what you see right there. So to bring it down to two questions, how to get a girl and how to make this site, keep it uh, open, accessible and free 
but self-sustaining. Thank you very much.